So what they're looking, now you don't technically even have to draw it, but drawing it helps you figure out the radius. So if you could do it without drawing it, all they're really asking you for is the equation. to whether that's x or y because here's my center point so I want to count from that center point to the x-axis and that's going to be four units there so the radius is four so the radius squared is 16. Okay so you didn't I, you didn't have to put it in equation form you just had to that is equation form point. right there. Okay. Okay because it's x minus 2 oh, I took and, and y minus a negative 4, which is I y plus 4. I have negative 2, positive 4. Oh, you switch these yeah. up here. Okay, mm -hmm. but understand yeah. it's the opposite of what these are. Yeah, okay. Now, you can, go, you can get around that by just plugging it in and going x minus 2, y minus a negative 4. And it will take care of that problem for you because then you'll realize that's y plus 4. So uh, just take, take, the, take this original equation and just plug in the center point. That's what I did, but I took the opposite. I should have had positive. I did negative 2, positive 4 okay. instead of... Okay, don't. Just, just ha plug it in. Okay, you know that it's x minus h, so whatever your h is, you plug it in. Okay. Okay, now, obviously, if you have a double negative, it becomes plus. Okay? Sort of, kind of, does that make sense? All right, now we're gonna stretch that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to bring this one. No! Okay, we're almost there. We're almost with all the information they can give me on the circle. All right, this time they don't give me the center point. This time they tell me, Write the equation of the circle if the end points or the points of a diameter. Now the diameter is through the center of the circle to a point on the outside is negative 7, 11, and 5, negative 10. Okay, so what that means is this. negative 7, 11. Then I've got 5, negative 10. That's the diameter of the circle. Okay? How do I find the center point? Not the distance, because that wouldn't give me an ordered pair. What would give me an ordered pair? That you did, that same day you did the distance, what'd you do? The midpoint. The midpoint. I need the midpoint. That's going to give me exactly in the middle between these two, which is going to be my center point. Okay, that's why we did that first mm -hmm. section before we got here, because that, that parabola you didn't use that on. But here we're starting to use it. So I need to add negative 7 plus 5 and divide it by 2. That's going to give me a negative 1, right? Y'all with me? Okay. So I have, now obviously my thing is a little off right here, I think. Okay, so I have a negative 1, and then I add the 11, actually it's not too bad. Okay, 11 plus negative 10 is positive 1, divide that by 2, and I get 1 half. That's going to be my center point. So basically, I'm talking kind of right there. Okay, so I've got part of this. I've got x minus, and I'm just plugging it in, x minus 
a negative 1 squared plus y minus 1 half squared equals radius squared. Okay, the only thing that changes here is that becomes plus, right? Now, i got to figure out what the radius of my circle is. Now, I'm going to use the distance formula from the center of my point to a point on the outside. Okay, so this is where that midpoint and distance came in. Kind of, you know, it doesn't matter if you do this one and this one, or this one and this one. Okay, so I'm going to cheat just for a second, and I've got that programmed into my calculator, which eventually I'll let you do. And it tells me that I have a radius of approximately 12.1. Okay, now that's not very accurate. Okay, because if I have a square root, it's much more accurate. Now I can square that and do it, and it's going to be close enough. But let's say I do it the old fashioned way. Okay, I have negative 7 minus negative 1 squared plus 11 minus 1 half squared, and that's going to give me. A negative 6 squared, which is going to be 36, and that's going to give me 10 and a half, which I'm still going to have a problem here because it's not going to be real accurate. So 10 and a half is going to, or yeah, 10 and a half squared is going to give me 110.25, which I'm going to add the 36 to it. Then I'm going to take the square root of it. Oops, actually. And it's going to give me, guess what, 12.1. So what I need to do over here is take 12.1 and square it. Because remember, the 12.1 is the radius. I've got to square it. So it's going to give me 146.4, approximately. And there's your equation. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That brings back in the midpoint and the distance formula, which is why section 7-1 made you work on that. Okay, are you with me? Okay. You think. Okay, let's do one more like that. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, end points of the diameter. 1, 8, and 1, negative 6. Okay, now I would always graph, but the truth of the matter is you don't have to graph because you know to find the center point, you find that you're using the midpoint. Okay, but if you graph it, it's going to help you visualize it. Now this one's, you can use the midpoint on it, but it's also pretty easy because you could just say what's the distance between those because they're vertical, okay? But if you do the midpoint, you've got 1 plus 1, which is 2. What's 2 divided by 2? 1. Okay, so 1, 8 plus negative 6 is 2. What's 2 divided by 2? 1. 1. So therefore, the midpoint of my circle is at 1, 1. All right, my circle looks like that, more or less, okay? So I've got x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to the radius squared. How am I going to find the radius? I'm going to use the distance formula, and actually I don't have to here because, again, it's vertical and I could count, but we'll, we'll do it anyway, okay? I either go from here to here or from here to here. doesn't matter which one you do. So I have distance is equal to the square root of 1 minus 1 squared plus 8 minus 1 squared. So I've got 0 squared, which is 0. So the square root of, 
That's going to give me a 7 squared, which is going to be 49. What's the square root of 49? 7. 7. So what's going to be right here? 49. 49. Because remember, you got to square it to put it into the problem. Okay, that one was way easier because it wasn't decimals. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good? All right. That's really all I can give you as far as circles go. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and give you your homework. Maybe you can get most of it done. I can help you if you need help on it. I might actually have another compass. This one will be up for grabs. Um, I want you to do page 427 through 428. Uh, 18 through... 48. Now the, the ones for the end are going to be a little bit more challenging. You're going to make sure that you understand the concept and you're not just memorizing the concept. Okay, so some of those are written out in words. So that's what I'm going to give you as homework. Possibility of a quiz on Tuesday. Okay, because the circle would be the easiest one to have a quiz on.